This is GNOME 44 Beta, the upcoming release for the GNOME desktop. In this video, we are going to take a look at what's new in GNOME 44 Beta. Now without further ado, let's dive into the video. Let's start with GNOME Contacts, which has received some impressive upgrades. Now you can share contacts with these using QR codes. This means you can quickly and conveniently share contact information across devices with just a few clicks. Additionally, editing contact avatars is now more intuitive and follows the same style as the user panel in GNOME settings, making the process even easier. Next up, the Quick Settings panel in GNOME 44 brings more enhancements that will help you manage your device settings easily and quickly. The all-new Bluetooth menu is a standard feature that lets you see which devices are connected as well as connect and disconnect from previously used devices with ease. The Background Applications menu lists all the applications running in the background without a visible window. Now this way you can glance through ongoing tasks and even close applications via the menu. The settings panel in GNOME 44 has also undergone a significant changes. The accessibility panel, for example, has been completely redesigned to improve usability. While the date and time panel is now more mobile friendly thanks to a two column layout for the month selector. In addition, just like contacts, you can now share Wi-Fi passwords through a QR code. Now, furthermore, the About page displays kernel and firmware versions, giving you even more information about your device. Now, moving on to the File Manager, the built-in search function in Nautilus has received a significant performance boost, making it faster and more efficient than ever before. When using the GTK file picker window, you can view files in icon mode for easier selection of images and videos. Also, when taking a screenshot using the default tool, it's now stored in the clipboard. You can then quickly paste it into Nautilus by right-clicking the mouse. GNOME Web is another exciting new feature in GNOME 44 Beta, which has been ported to GTK4 or Libadvata. The interface is completely redesigned with new UI buttons and gestures, providing a modern web browsing experience. New other notable features of GNOME 44 include an interactive overview mode inside the console that allows you to switch between multiple terminal sessions, also map support for keyboard navigation in search results, and a new GNOME software preference that shows only free applications. These are just some of the many minor changes and improvements you can expect from GNOME 44 Beta. More new features will be added to the final release, making it an even more robust and user-friendly desktop environment. And that's pretty much it guys, GNOME 44 will be officially released in the first week of April. You can try out right now GNOME 44 Beta using the GNOME OS nightly images. Just go ahead, check the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSKRL. I will see you in the next one.